13 people have been killed as the severe cyclonic storm Oki passed by South Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Currently, this on your map, you, uh, on your TV screens, you can see that's the map. This is the storm's path and it's heading towards Lakshwadeep, which is on a high alert and is likely to continue moving west northwestwards across Lakshwadeep Islands during the next 24 hours. Oki is expected to touch wind speeds of 110 to 120 kilometers per hour in the next 24 hours. And with heavy rain expected over the next two days, all schools and colleges were shut in Tamil Nadu today. Helicopters and boats, everything possible to rescue people. But not everyone was that lucky. Over 10 people were killed due to heavy rain in the last 48 hours. Thousands shifted to emergency camps in South Kerala and Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu's Kanyakumari district itself, five people have died in the last 48 hours and around 30 fishermen are missing. A day after the district received 30% more rain than the usual limit due to the effect of Cyclone Oki's northwest movement towards Lakshwadeep. Whatever uh, remedy measures was necessary, it was taken immediately. And the surprise is that we were not aware, like, this is going to stuck us so early. In low-lying towns like Suchindram in Kanyakumari and adjoining areas, people had to be evacuated from residential areas in boats. After many, like Tangamani, found their houses completely inundated. Nature's fury didn't even spare this 17th century old temple. About 16 relief camps have been uh, started and 1044 persons are sheltered in these uh, locations. Primarily the entire power infrastructure has been affected. In Kerala, search and rescue operations were launched by the Air Force, Navy and Coast Guard with 11 vessels and 8 aircrafts for 180 missing fishermen. The Defence Forces are on standby for any humanitarian assistance that would be required once this cyclone hits the northern part of Lakshwadeep, takes a turn towards Gujarat before losing out on its intensity. However, this break to the incessant rain is very much needed for a sense of normalcy to return to the inundated areas of southern Kerala and southern Tamil Nadu. With camera person SV Babu, Sneha Koshi for Indy TV. And Sneha Mary Koshi now joins me from Kanyakumari. Sneha, tell me what is the situation right now? Manika, we're coming to you from a place in Kanyakumari, Sujintram. In fact, if you just look around, it's totally inundated. Most of the people here say they've never seen something like this. Let's just ask them, how old are you? Tell me your name. Uh, my name is Rakesh. I'm 29. Have you seen something like this before? No, this is the first time uh, we are seeing this much of water in our place uh, around us. So in Kanyakumari, the situation is such that most of the places, the low-lying areas have been inundated. But the good news that remains right now is there have been long spells of rain of uh, spells where there's been no rainfall that has meant that the water levels have actually receded water has started draining down how much was the water level yesterday or today morning how much is it now how how much would it be yeah uh, actually uh, yesterday night uh, we are the water level is uh, going to increase and it was around your yeah, yeah, hips yeah. you yeah, were saying it's near to our hip size also okay and, and now if you see it's still there it's still inundated now what this essentially means is it's getting better but there's still no electricity. Across Kanyakumari, there is no electricity. You have women, you have men, children, all just standing by outside their houses, inside the house, but they can't move out, one, because it's inundated, two, because there's no electricity. There's an infrastructure problem. The government is not sure when will this be sorted out. They are trying to first get Nagar Coal, the administrative center for Kanyakumari, um, get access to the electricity and then right. later look at the other towns with priority. But for now, there is just no electricity. 
The good news, however, some respite that is going to be expected is there seems to be a decline in the heavy showers. That's something which is not expected, especially because the cyclone has moved away from this particular area. So that would bring respite and would give sufficient time, according to authorities, if it does not rain heavily for the next 24 hours, that would bring a lot of respite, meaning in the sense that this water would be allowed to be drained out. But holidays... Um, no electricity, people coming onto the streets, distributing right. food because hardly anything is happening inside the homes.